Dude, there's some shit going on with this game. Whoa. Dang it, Kath. You didn't have to pull me into this. He does not look good. Bro does not have any sleep. Hey, exam results are out. Can't wait to see which ones I flopped. Whoa. Actually, pretty good. I'm uh, not so good on that last one. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Oh, that's Louise. Okay, I see. And pigs fly, Mark. And pigs fly. Oh, okay. Okay, nice, but where should I flop this time? Interesting. Math. Oh, I wanted to see the other one. Who's this one? This one's Kyle. Wait, am I not flopping this one? This one is probably Louise. Yeah. Not mine and it'll never be. Um, I'm hoping ours is this one. But let's check what's this one. Mark. Okay. Huh. Seems too good, too good to be true. Okay. This Louise. Emily. Never mind, they give me a cheating. Okay. 43. Ryan. For Filipino, I see. Um, Brian. Mark. It's over 30. Nice. Honestly, if you don't fail, that's all you really need. It's Louise. English. Yeah. Uh, who's this one? Ruby. Don't pick a name, just keep guessing. Uh, this one. I'm hoping this is one. All 36 and 35s. That's interesting. That one was Ryan's. This one's Louise. Yeah. Ryan in history. Um, this us? Nope. We 39. Average as usual. Oh, cool, but where's the one below 30? Um, oh man. What? Okay. I see. Uh, there it is. Art. Of course, couldn't go without a flunk worthy score. I guess I better make this up to Miss Floors. Man, he is looking rough. Yeah, not bad. Nah, it's just a fluke. Wait, what was that? Oh. Annual pianist auditions. Not how I remember it. Try to remember, please. Concentrate. Oh, he's gonna come in and look at him doing this fucking exorcist shit. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Going all in on this piano thing, huh? So you might want to tone it down. If you don't want to look like a possessed idiot. You didn't have to do that. God, you nearly gave me a heart attack. Poor guy. Just wait, Kath. I'm telling you. Just look at those sunken eyes. You absolutely needed that energy surge. And whose fault do you think that is? Well, well. Don't you accuse me of your own wrongdoing. I told you we'd, get, we'd go early today, and still, you chose to sleep late over some lame-ass MMO. But who's the one responsible for dragging me into this stupid plan? Huh. Right. I wonder who? Don't you... Hey, look! You still haven't answered my question. No, Red, the results are out. <sighs> hmm, let's see. Just get enough sleep next time, please. God knows what other creepy shit you'd be doing alone. Ugh, I was... Forget it. Literally. But I'm true. Anyone will be here any moment now. Then they'll be like... Whoa, Mark! Is that you? This early? Looks like you need another scare to wake you up. I got about thir I got a 13 on art. Third scare would just be overkill. Hmm, are you sure? I'm wide awake now. Don't you... Ugh. Don't worry. If you say so. What you got there? Well... Whoa! Nice, Kathy! It's decent. Nothing surprising. Your definition of decent is what's surprising here. Well, unlike you, my, my bar is higher. To be far, my bar is higher than yours. Mine's just upside down. <laughs> well... I guess they... I can live with this. What? live with? Are you... Oh, I get it. We're playing the humble game, aren't we? Huh? Well, Cass, look at these. What do you think of my disgraceful scores? Uh, let me guess. The usual 30s and 34s barely passing. Maybe you got lucky this time I got a 36. I said, look at my scores. Fine. What? 30? 30 what? Uh huh, you saw that right. Humbly, I did get a 36. What have you done? Were you sitting next to Louise? Did you just cheat? I would never. I'd never commit such a crime. I'd unfortunately finally tried my hand at actually studying. How did you study? When? I don't mean to brag, but... Uh, it took just two good hours of studying without distraction. All just a day before the exams. No biggie. Shit, man. Remember what I told you last time? About that sleeping genius in my noggin? Yeah. And just like that. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes. It was awakened from its eternal slumber. And that's it. Playtime's over. This is a fluke. Teachers were forgiving. Oh my god, my cat is a maniac. Exams were just too easy. No, they weren't. Period. Hell no. I'd argue it wasn't easy at all. Oh, really? Yeah. It was... Hello, Gwen, or whoever. Who's the, one, who's the girl from Danny Phantom? Everybody knows who I'm talking about. It's, that's her. Speaking of flukes, this stupid plan actually worked. Shh. Not yet. 
lie low and keep it down. Remember, we have to establish a strong connection with the target. At the soonest. Oh, that's the new girl. You weren't kidding. New students do come in early. Newies like her wouldn't want to attract attention, so they can mingle as much as they can before classes start. Huh, you really think- and you really think that? Being her first new friend is worth sleeping early for? That's correct. You get higher chances of winning her heart. I read that in line, by the way. So why the heck did I get dragged into this if it's just about you? Duh. Because you're the backup plan. Wait, what? That wasn't part of the plan. Shh, quiet. Now what? So much for they want to attract attention and mingle. Trust me. She might be a meek one. Oh, oh my god, that, that guy makes me yawn. Yeah, the bitch makes me yawn. I love her face there. I've seen this kind before. Quiet as a mouse. But once you get to know her, well, you'd be surprised. And we'll see about that. She does not look <laughs> very happy. Oh my, she's pretty. Did you see that? Yeah. And I can also see where this is headed. I know, right? We'll get together and become good friends. Then I'll ask her on a date. Then we'll watch the stars. <laughs> then do whatever they do in the movies. I hate to break it to you, but this isn't Hollywood. It's now or never, man. Here I go. Great. Hey there. Kay, right? <laughs> Off to a great start. Um, I'm Catherine Joyce. But you can just call me Cat. I'm the friendliest you'll ever meet. As you can probably tell. Uh, uh, your name's Kate, right? Kinda sounds like mine, you know. What a coincidence. I'm sure that means we'll be good friends. Uh, yes, I know your I know that feeling, my friend. Sucks transferred to a new school, I know. Y you'll get used to it for sure. We're all nice around here. Especially me. Now, um, no wonder you haven't had a girlfriend yet. Well, then, I'm one to talk. So, um, welcome to Liamson Integrated School. This is Class 9 Pearl. Cat, at your service. Uh, you might be the silent type, huh? Uh, I'm the polar opposite of the silent type if you keep talking. So it would be very nice of you if you keep that mouth shut. Thank you. I... but I... I said thank you, didn't I? His face. So? Welcome to Hollywood, eh? What's the problem? Yeah, I got your tongue? Or should I say, Kate got your tongue? <laughs> you dickhead! That shitty joke did not help at all. I've been stripped of all my dignity. Can you see? I did. It was fun. Well, we'll see who's laughing now. What the hell are you doing? I told you, you're the backup plan. Who said anything about that? Just face it. Now go on and talk to her. That animation was really nice. It's not like I have any, any dignity to lose anyway. Uh, sorry for the commotion back there. That was just my friend who's, um, too friendly. She's just, a, she's just like that sometimes. Look, I don't want to meddle in your affairs, but... Hope you have a good time here. This place sucks. I hope you have a good time here. I just hope you have a good time here. I feel at home, classmate. As expected, I'm talking to a wall. This is pointless. I'm out. Wait. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You're free to make a comeback. 
Did someone tell you? Uh, tell me what? About the... The... Never mind. Um... Wanna talk about it? No. You may leave now. But we just talked. Kind of. I'm not fond of all this yapping. Okay? Her name's Kate. If that helps sh shut your mouth. Um... Uh, I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. I guess. And that's our new cl classmate, folks. Hooray. Interesting. Maybe she knows something about the, the rain business, whatever's going on. Man, I don't know what just happened back there. But that ain't fair. I'm the social butterfly here. Not you. I'd think twice about that title if I were you. But, but... But just how? She even introduced herself. If you can even call it that. Ugh. Now that this mission has failed, would you please let me take a nap? Whoa, Mark. Is that you? This early? What a sock in Orion. Hey, dude, that must be Katarina, all right? Katrina. Katrina? What's up, Katrina? Her face. Whoa, you too, Kat? Dude, why'd you guys come in so early? What, Kat? Hello? Yo? Kath got your tongue? Ah, shut up! Interesting. Is that a gun? Wake up, sleepyhead. It's lunchtime. Better wake up before I shoot you with this. Don't you want to play air piano again? Uh, finally! Rise and shine! Just how much sleep did you get? One measly hour. Make it two. It's a good thing you got lucky today, Jin Jin. What? You slept through three classes in a row. You know, just like Jin Jin over there. I did what? Why didn't anyone wake me up? Well... Oh my god, that's so me. We tried, but it was no use. Whoa! You were in a deep sleep. We couldn't get the Sleeping Beauty up. <laughs> and no one wanted to kiss you. So, yeah. What did the teacher say? They didn't want to kiss you either. I'm sorry. I'm, am I kissing my Grizz goodbye? That's where you got lucky, man. They didn't give a damn. At least for now. What a relief. I swear, just one more warning from Miss Alfonso. Mr. Alfonso. And I'm out of here. He was in a surprisingly good mood. They say he got his ex-girlfriend back. Good for him. What about Mrs. Flores? What are you talking about? Or is after lunch break? Hey, speaking of... What did you paint? Uh, paint what? Do you know? For a poster project. Our Earth is sick. Don't be mean, be clean. Hmm? Is it Earth Day? What the hell? Shit. I know, it's so cliche. Man, I did it all on my own. And I'm so proud of it. What do you think? I think... I think I'm in trouble. There's no way. 
programming, this is flat out impossible. After I have to warn, I'm getting kicked out for real. Say, how many minutes do I have left? Seven minutes. Are you crazy? I've always been. I know you cram, but this is just insanity. Oh fuck. Hey! Alright, time to do what we do best. Procrastinator powers activate. Just gotta dash my way to the supply store. I can do this. Ooh, it's music. Up the fucking way! Uh. Oh no. Ah. Ow! Oh no, my precious tree! Sorry. Sorry, my bad. I was not ready for that at all. Ahead. Sidestep. Woof! Watch where you're going, dude! Sorry, this one's up urgent! I'm gonna be something so avant-garde and pretentious. It'll knock Flora's socks off. Oh, this music. Oh, sorry. Uh, speed up. Oh, it's Mike. What the hell, bro? Excuse me! Just dash me through! Ha! <laughs> I got it! I'll just flash paint around. And just like that, I'm the next Pollen. Slide under. Hey! No running in the halls! It's an emergency! Target locked, baby! We're almost there! Uh-oh. What are you doing out here? Um... I don't know! Save the Earth. Oh, it's her! It's the girl! That we saw. Uh oh. Out of all the numbers from 0 to 50, I got a score of 13. Ouch. Could this be getting any worse? Hey, Mark. Uh, hey. Billy, my guy. What's up? What's the last minute rush of today? Need anything? Marker, pen, printing, Xerox. I did need something, but I don't think I don't think I'm in good shape. Shape to cram now. That girl isn't in too good shape. In good shape as well, it seems. Whoa. No. Uh -oh. Isn't that the girl? I forget her name, but she was in. That was who they were stalking. Oh, is that Angel? That might be Angel, actually. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! You! You monster! I don't need your hand. I have two, and I can stand on my own, okay? Hey, I... Uh... Oh, it is, it is the girl that we were talking about. What? What's your deal? S sorry. Sorry, but I didn't mean to. Do you mean to ruin someone's first day in this school? Okay, sure. Thanks, I guess. To be fair, you were blocking the halls. Right in the middle. Wow. So are we just totally ignoring the fact that someone was ruthlessly bar barreling through the halls? I know. But sorry, you're in the wrong too. I lost my consciousness for a moment there. You almost killed me for Pete's sake. Hey, I'm... Whoa! Alright. Look at this mess! Look at me! I'm a mess! This is... 
I was so excited to, to start a brand new life here. And you're just gonna, gonna mess it up like that? What am I supposed to do? Whatever. I never want to see your face again. Great. Both of you. Principal's office. Now. Oh boy. Fortunately, we have extra uniform for students. You ought to return them next week. Do you understand? Don't you two realize the consequences of your mishate behavior? Let this day teach you a well-deserved lesson. Scary. You will stay here until dismissal. I've called the principal. She'll be here in a few hours. Wait a second. Have I seen your face here before? Uh, me? Yes. Uh, I have no idea. Why I have no idea what you mean, Miss Legaspi. <laughs> I knew it. Just how many warnings do you have left before you get expelled? I don't know. I'm invisible. <laughs> hey, uh, Candy, you want one? Mint? Fruit? What was I thinking? Candy won't be enough to tame this beast. There's gotta be something in here. Um... Interesting. Greetings, my fellow Liamson Liamsonians. I just want to announce that. You can never get rid of me. I keep this school running. With my pockets as deep as the Marianas. No matter how many times you detain, warn, or punish me. You won't ever have the balls to let me go. I may not be a genius or a dreamer, but... I've got, uh... Epic bangs. <laughs> That's all for my beloved school. Thank you for your attention. Too bad the security cans don't record audio. What an audience. At least appreciate a round of applause here. Bro has so much riz. Um, oh, let's give her a taste of her a fancy schmancy coffee. That'll let, lift her spirits up. Hi, welcome to Starbonks. What can I get for you? You know, they've got a coffee maker with the grinder here. Top of the line gear. They've got Arabic beans too, or whatever. Cream of the crop. You won't find this anywhere else. It's Arabica, you jerk. Hey, now we're talking. So, you want a cup of Arabica? This is the best coffee you'll ever have, I promise. My hipster friend would kill for this. I'll take that as a yes. Smells so good, doesn't it? Nearly done. I know you can't wait. One cup for you. And one cup for me. Mm-hmm. It never disappoints. Don't let that speci speciality go to waste. I always get a chance to taste overpriced tuition. That's where it all goes. Come on, before it gets cold. Maybe she'd rather have iced coffee. Okay, that didn't work. It was a valiant effort, though. She won't even look at me. Hey, hey, come on, don't be like that. <laughs> oh, I like her. She's. <laughs> She's grumpy. 
Whoa, this one's new. I haven't seen this before. Would you look at this bad boy? Hey, look. It's not severing my arm. This is amazing what overpriced tuition can buy. Apparently, bladeless fans are unexciting. Okay. Come on, don't. Come on, just look at me. <laughs> uh, what's this? I can't read that. It all went downhill from there. Interesting. Best what? See, like a record label. Maybe it's art or something. Yo, I have a comically large fork. Oh, never mind. Watch this. Useless but fun fact. Our lavish principal has three cars. A pickup. <laughs> a sedan. And an SUV. What you just heard was the SUV. I love it. It has the best beep. Not interesting enough for her. Ding Dong Chavez? No fucking shot. Bruno John? Rose Malon Chalavez? Oh, they're, they're all Chalavez. Or Chows? Chowes? Ding Dong Chows. That's crazy to me. <laughs> There's no way that's real. Uh, let's see what this is. Batch valid Valedictorians. Oh, it's all it's all the it's all the the relatives of the principal, I assume. I wouldn't be surprised if Junjun takes the gold medal home too. I've tried everything now. Forget it. It's useless. Really? Everything? Come on. Okay. Be that way. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Why you gotta be- There's nothing I can do here? Cool horses. Okay. Nothing. Nothing, mate. Ain't nothing here. Brought everything, darling. Tough bird. Give up? I don't wanna give up. Hmm. I don't wanna give up. I don't want to give up. Is there anything I can click on? Fine. I give up. I give up. Ah. I did all I could possibly do. Nothing could make you speak. Besides stupid Arabic beans. Two thousand nine hundred ninety-five. 2,996, 2,997, 2,998, 209,099, 3,000. Oh, wow. Did you look at the time? It appears we have three more exciting hours left. Imprisoned here with nothing to do except, you know, socialize like humans do. If you would just all cooperate, you do not deserve my cooperation. Finally, thank God. But after all I've done to cheer you up, oh, I'm sorry. After what you have done, either way, try harder. But I'm sure you'd die trying. You haven't even taken a sip of the coffee yet. That'd surely calm your nerves, miss. Mister, you're dodging the real issue here. You're just wasting my time. I told you. You were literally taking up half the width of the hallway. Even worse, right in the middle. And you were running. Read the handbook, section 7.4. I'm surprised a novice like me knows more than a supposed veteran. Whoa. Look who's gung ho about transferring. She knows the handbook like the back of her hand. Why, thank you. That's what, what the back of my hand is for. The front is for, you know, 
dealing with you, just in case. If you didn't know, normal people would do their business at the, at the side to make way for others. But I guess some people simply aren't part of that population. Sir, have you ever heard of speed limits? I think someone here could take a page from traffic etiquette. Can't speak. Getting this show on the road, huh? Well, ever heard of middle lane hogging? Go ahead, take a page. Oh my, get the show on the road. Did you just use an idiom, literally? How cheesy. Actually, that was a double entendre. I used the idiom both literally and as intended. Too bad my ingenuity went over your head. I wish ingenuity were an antonym for genius right now. Running out of fuel? Guess that was lame. Admit it. Oh, they're so into each other. Your car has crashed. Is it my fault for your... Is it my fault your cra... Your car cra... Oh my god, I can't speak. Is it my fault your car crashed into mine? Flat tire. Huh? What's that even supposed to mean? I said... You're a... Flat... Tire. What? Oh, you monster! You really want to get it, do you? I'd be... Flat... Turd. <laughs> you dirty sicko! Oh. Um... I'll talk to you later. Good afternoon, um... Miss... Miss... Mrs... Chavez? Good day, Mr. Chavez. Looking fancy today. How are we doing? Of course it's you again. Although it's the first time you brought someone with you. I... I sincerely apologize for the trouble. I hope we can resolve this case as soon as possible. Whatever. I'm in a hurry. Come on, follow me. Okay, let's begin. Mrs. Legaspi has told me everything. I have to say, what you committed is one serious offense. Serious indeed. But it's his fault. Hold your horses, miss. You'll get a chance to speak up later. Understood. I'm sorry. Flat tire. Come again. Your sedan. I think it has a flat tire. How do you know? I just saw it earlier. And? There it was. Flat tire. So flat you wouldn't be able to drive it. That sounds horrible. I have to get that fixed. Absolutely. That's it! Miss! Where are your manners? It's his fault! It's all, all his! He was blazing through the hallway without a care in the world. Mister, no running in the halls. We made that clear in the handbook, didn't we? Hmm. <laughs> you guys did make it clear. Props to you for that. Four thumbs up. But little Missy here was blocking the middle of the hallway. Oh, miss. I'm sorry, but you can't do that. You should have known to give way, right? Hmm. <laughs> no, but look. Isn't it clear who should be held accountable? Clear as day. If you weren't running in the first place, none of this would have happened. Same outcome if you weren't blocking the hallway. Plus, you wouldn't have annoyed a bunch of your schoolmates. Pretty sure you annoyed a bunch of them along the way, too. You just don't want to admit it. Silence. I've had enough of you two. I'm calling your parents now. N no, please. I just transferred here. They'd be so... No. Please don't. Don't look at me like, me like that, Mark. You surprise me. M Mark? Well then. If you don't want me to call your parents... For the love of everything good and holy... 
just make up with each other. M what? How? Figure it out or I'll call your parents now. I've got a mall's wide sail to catch. No, I've got a mall wide sail to catch, so make it quick. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll cover everything. Wait for the repainting of the walls and flooring. That's good. I'll get you a cool gift, too. Because I love the school and I love you. You don't have to, but okay. And lastly... Uh... I'll help her redo her poster. I'll help little Missy here redo her art poster. Which I obliterated to this. That sounds like a good plan, then. It covers everything we are... We, we'd otherwise worry about. My pleasure. But Mark, I've been hearing about your grades. Remember, you can't make up for that in any way. You have to study harder if you want to stay here. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna miss you guys if I leave. So, miss, how does Mark's plan sound to you? Nah. I can take it, I guess. Alright. You two, may you two may now go now. Wait, what about schoolwork due today? Turn them in next week. Your teachers will understand. Awesome. More time to do with that stupid art project. Uh, I guess. Okay, this is my final warning. Mark, please don't run in the halls. Miss, please don't block them. Do you two understand? Understood, Miss Chavez. Chavez. It won't happen again. Yeppers. Hoggers. Meeting adjourned. Be safe on the way home. Mm, goodbye. I gotta differentiate these voices more. So, uh... That happened. You got any way? You got away with, with, with it just like that? Just like that? Cool, eh? For the record... Since you still ruined my first day, I'm totally not forgiving you. Cool. Not yet, that is. They've never bought they never bothered to ask your name. So what is it? As much as I hate to introduce myself to you, I'm Nicole Lakasmana. Um I uh, you can call me Nicole. I, I'm sorry. Hey, seriously though, sorry. Obviously neither of us wanted to crash into each other. Uh-huh. So, what are we gonna do? What's going on with the cold, dog? And me? I could've used a little help back there. You carried all of that, Mark? For me? Aw. You forced me to. Oh, you're such a gentleman! Not a lot of gentlemen these days, you know. Why'd you even stop this shop this much? I thought we were just gonna buy art supplies. Like, do you really need a new toothbrush holder? Uh-huh, we buy one every week. The house ghosts keep stealing it. And all these plastic hooks and clothespins. Why, yes. <laughs> I collect clothespin as a hobby. There's a subjugate for that. What? Subjugate? Subreddit, I guess. And all these skirts and shirts? Really? Have you been wearing the same set of clothes every day? Ew, absolutely not. I'm not as filthy as you. And seriously, a knife set? I'm gonna need it more- I'm gonna need more than one knife if you misbehave. Let's just get this over with. What's talking to you so- what's taking so long? What's taking you so long to open that door? You're nagging. Welcome to our humble abode. Our new humble abode. Oh god, I got, I got hiccups. So that's why. Sorry. <laughs> we just moved in a few days ago. Still needs work, I know. Uh... Is no one else home? Huh, <laughs> you wish. My parents are sleeping in the back. So you better keep it down. 
in your siblings? Well, I wish I had one. It's a hassle-free life, I'd say. No trouble, no drama, no petty arguing. Where's the fun in that? Hey, I'm gonna get changed. Stay right here and don't touch anything. Don't touch everything. Do touch everything. Got it. Hmm. Hey, can I use the bathroom? Whatever happened to keeping it down? I was just asking. Hmm. This is a nice place. It's very, uh, Spanish. Very Hispanic. Aww. Eighth birthday. First steps. And whatever that is. Graduating. How cute. It's very nice. So they just moved here. Of course, the staple of this- of, I'm still doing the female voice. Of course, the staple of every home. Good old pirated DVDs. <laughs> That's so real. Mega mind, micro mind. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see what the flicks they got. Micro mind. A dumb supervillain inadvertently defeats his enemy with his inherently deplorable IQ. Rat the tat. Rem, professional rat chef. Oh, rat ratatouille. Rat chef gives up his culinary ways and commits to a savage gangster life of robbery and gang wars. Ratatat. I see, I get it. It's like a gun. Ratatat. Sardiant Benny. Sardiant Benny? A gay soldier fights terrorists with a fart gun. Okay. But people are going to watch this. Aren't going to watch. But people are going to watch this movie anyway. <laughs> That's funny. Boom Boom Pack. Fit. Why don't. Is that. That's 10 15. The final amazing pal. Starring 36 local artists, all mashed up into one star studded F film. That's it. Don't ask about the plot. There's none. <laughs> Damn it, pops my eyes! You just never keep. Wait, what? Oh, that was. I thought that was, that's, that was him saying that. They just never keep their porn stash somewhere safe, don't don't they? Okay. Funny. I love his walk cycle. What the fuck is that creepy thing? Oh, I love these things. That's cool. Theirs would be like center of ass or whatever. But really, it's, this is magic in my eyes. Yep. I love those things. They're very cool. Um, can I not do anything else? Wait. Uh oh. Hmm? I'm afraid we didn't hire a housemaid. Uh -oh. uh, hey! <laughs> oh my! Do we have a scaredy tag? Scaredy cat here? Don't tell me you wouldn't jump too. If someone just appeared out of thin air. I would, but your face would just make me burst out laughing. Anyway, we're painting here, right? Of course. You think we're doing this in my room? Don't get any funny ideas. Oh, I'm not that low. The only funny idea I'm having is painting circles on your face. Oh well, we're going in circles. Let's just start, shall we? I don't want to put the knife set beside me, you know, for self-defense. Do you mind? If I can have half of the knives to protect myself as well, then not at all. Oops, I skipped whatever that said. Let's begin then. How about you go first? That's inefficient, don't you think? How about we just paint together? I want to see your potential. Impress me. Heck, maybe you'd even inspire me. All I'm hearing is, I want to boss you around, coated in sugar. <laughs> no, really. Let's see what you got. Prepare to be amazed. Prepare to be amazed. This is a master at work. Hmm? All right, hang on. Let me, let me, let me show you real quick. <laughs> it goes a little something like this, then it goes a little something like, oof. 
You know what I'm talking about? Then it goes a little something like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then a little bit of, who And a little, yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Painting? In black? What's wrong about that? But the theme is Mother Earth. I know. Climate change, environment, or whatever. So, why does it look like you're painting nonsense? Hey, watch your words. This is avant-garde at its peak. And if you know our teacher well, she gets off on weird art. Exploiting her pretentious taste with pretentiousness. Hmm, I see. I had an epiphany back when I was running my ass off off on in the in the halls. Never thought to ask. Why were you running in the first place? I had about seven minutes to cram this shit. I rushed to the store, but there you were. Majestically blocking the way. Say what? Seven minutes? That shouldn't come as a surprise for me. Oh, that's right. We just met. It wasn't your first time at the principal's office, was it? Oh, it was. I just happened to flawlessly operate the coffee maker by accident. Lucky me. Crazy. You weren't fearing for your life one bit. Why would I? They wanted to get rid of me. They would have. Damn, this kind of looks cool already. I like it. Little that. Little this. I. I don't get it. Ah, yes. A brilliant representation of oil spills destroying our lovely oceans. I can already see Flora's eyes sparkling. Oh, hold on. I don't get it. Why do you live like this? Why? Shut up. I need to concentrate. I'm channeling, I'm channeling my inner Pollock. I mean, are there even any upsides? That's your class, classmate, Kyle. He cares way more than I do. He's a true expert. You know what? I suggest that you could definitely use more effort. Suggest is I suggest not spending my precious effort on this. Could also use more color. You know what I mean? I've no time for your color theory, bullcrap. You don't need to know color theory. You just have to, you know, let it shine. We didn't buy glossy paint. I mean, are you seriously okay with this? Settling for this Pollock rip-off? Rip -off? Look, all I needed to do is get the job done. With the least possible effort. But do you even find enjoyment in it? Mm. Hmm. Um, kind of interesting in a way. I feel like when I procrastinate and I get stuff done without doing much work, I say yeah. Of course I do. I enjoy passing art class. Okay. <laughs> Hey! Watch. I'll show you how it's done. Oh, great. Someone's doing the dirty work for me. Thank you so much. Hey, look at me! Fine, fine. I can still turn this pitiful artwork into a lively one. Just you wait and see. Hooray. I think it needs more color. Okay. A dash of white. A splash of red. A drop of blue. You see it? It's coming together now. Whoa. It's much better now, right? I don't like saying this to your face, but it is. You see, Mark? I just I just enjoy the things I do. Whenever I find that enjoyment, everything else naturally shines. She's probably right. Everything shines. You just have to find that spark. You're crazy. I like to think I am. Whoa. 
Wait, was that her? Is that her playing the piano? Whoa. Hang on. What the hell? And was that- I saw that plane. Did she die in a plane crash or something? Is this all the reality or something? Man, this game is gonna be a head fuck, I can tell already. Getting there. Uh, are you done? Just a little bit more. Hey, that's enough. You've already helped. And done. Oh my god, that's so cute. So, what do you think? Why the long face now? Don't get me wrong. It's nice and all, but... I really wanted to illustrate climate change. That sounds kind of bleak, doesn't it? I don't know. I guess it's realistic and down to earth. Really? Hey, that's mine! Plus, my work shouldn't look that good. Floors knows that. Then just switch it up! She won't catch it! Even if I do, it doesn't feel like it's mine. Sprinkle your personal finesse, then! Add your own touch! That's not gonna work. Wait a minute. I know what is missing. There's nothing missing. I'll make the stars bigger. Maybe even cuter. Go ahead. It's yours, after all. To be clear, this is yours, and that is mine. Just give me a moment to perfect this. Better now. Look! Awesome. It deserves to be yours. No, you deserve this. Hold on, I'll, I'll give it more stars. Time to do my shit again. Wop, 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 dog, fuck him up. Hear it. Hmm? Mm, you're right. This is mine. Don't mention it. Don't worry. I only need half the knives. I wish I could stab you. That'd be an honor. I wonder... What's living here like? Brace yourself. Everything's unique here at Liamson. Liamson. I gotta... I gotta remember that. Liamson. They've got exotic tentacles for Christmas. And wrestling meccas for New Year's. Quite the culture shock here. I wish that were the case, but I was asking nicely. Same old, same old. We're still in the dreary heart of the capital. Do you have siblings? We're both only children. And you think it's hassle-free? Did I stutter? And your parents? What do they do for a living? Unlike yours, neither of them are talk show hosts. What if I told you I want to be one someday? And drown people in your hollow questions? Good luck. So, what do they do for a living? Since you won't shut up. What if I told you I live all alone? What? It's true. Both of them work abroad. It's good. Well, too good they don't want to stop working. What do you mean? That's sick. Pollock, look at this. You must be proud of me right now. I get that they were both overseas workers. But what do they do? Oh boy, would you look at that. The sun's setting. I guess I should be going now. Is your dad like an engineer or something? He repairs giant wrestling mechas, you annoying talk show host. Hey, where's the bathroom? Sadly, a wrestling mecha ripped it apart yesterday. You'll have to pee outside. I'll try my luck then. Try not getting stuck sucked in, snub. I like their dynamic. Okay, I can't go that way. Um Which one's the bathroom? I wanna go to the one that's not the bathroom. Or whatever. I, I'm assuming this one is not the bathroom because it's the first one. 
Oh, it is, uh, it is, it is a bathroom. Never mind. Okay. When was it in that room? Time to snoop. Time to be nosy, bitch. Whoa. Does anyone in here in her family play? Oh, piano. Chrysler. Les Imberfrat. I can't believe it. Interesting. Oh, uh, she probably plays the piano. And that's that's why we keep on having a memory of her. Looks like trophies stashed away. Wow, those trophies are her. Turn down the fan. No. She's a pianist. A oh boy. Since when? He's not sitting on that on that desk right there on that chair. You can see he's floating a little bit. Two out of ten game. Excuse me? What are you doing here? I didn't know you could play. Shut up and get out of here. Now. Well, you see, I've been trying my best my best at this, but it just isn't working. Maybe you could be my mentor? Who knows? You might make a great team. I'm not even kidding. I do not care, and I'm not kidding either. Get the hell out of here now. Oh shit, did I just strike a nerve? But hey. No ifs, no buts. Just get out. Um, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... Get out of this house at once! Just when I thought you were a decent guy. You were, the tr you were trespassing personal spaces. Who told you you could just go anywhere you like? I... I didn't know. You know what? I don't know what anything... I don't want anything to do with you. Please, just go ahead and leave. But... but I said... Go ahead and leave. Honey, you woke us up. What's going on here? Nothing, Mom. I was just... A rat. A big one. I had to shoo that nasty critter away. Hi, Mrs. Lak Lak Laksamana. Lak Laksam Laksamana. 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 How was your first day at school? It must have been wonderful. Seeing that you already got yourself a friend here. Well, uh... He's not my friend. It's a bit complicated, actually. Oh, you're gonna give the wrong idea. He's more like a... Transferee advisor, of sorts. Transferee advisor? Never heard of that before. Is that a thing now? Apparently. They usually wear a shiny badge. But he seems like he forgot to put it on. What? Ahem. <laughs> Isn't that correct, my advisor? Oh, she's right, Miss L Mrs. Laksama. Laksamna. I'm a student rep who guides new students. Glad to meet you. See? Told you. Not a friend. <laughs> I don't see this difference, honey. I can't see why you two won't be good friends. Uh, I guess. I think so, too. See, hon? And he's a looker, too. Uh, anyway... My advisor's gotta go home. Right, my noble advisor? Yeah. I just came here to, uh, help her with the project. And give her some, uh... Epic school tips. What? Oh, sorry. You're gonna hurry, hurry, dear. Strict parents. Yeah. He's so in a hurry. He told me he has to. I don't think so. Not much to go back home. Not much to go to do back home. At, at home, really. Great. Say, would you care to join us for dinner tonight? I'll cook Nicole's favorite pork zig zig. 
I bet you'll love it. It's a sig. I, I mispronounced it. Um. Look at her face. <laughs> oh dear, where are my manners? What's your name? His name's Mark. Just so you know, he has a pork allergy. So Mark, could you join us for dinner? Uh. I wouldn't want to impose. I wouldn't want to impose. Oh, you wouldn't be imposing. I invited after all. Then, why not? Alright. Sorry for all the mess, Mark. We just moved in, but please make yourself at home. Thank you, Mom. Uh, I mean, Mrs. Laksamana. Sorry. You can say that I'm your mother for the night. She is not happy. Great. I'll be in the kitchen if anyone needs me. How the tables have turned. Honey, would you please make our guests feel comfortable? Ha, you bet. I sure will. Thanks, son. Hey, sis. Shut up. I really like this game. Aw. His dad, the dad looks like a G. I'd be friends with that dad. Look at him. <laughs> She's not happy. Everyone else having a good time though. That looks like good food too. Like some rice, some whatever that is, jalapenos in there. Oh, goop, goober. He just shows them like vomiting in the slideshow randomly. <laughs> I'm going to the hospital. Getting a stomach pump. No, they're telling the story of how they met, I bet. Bye. That was sweet. MCR. Oh, it's it's Mark Kathy Riddell, I just realized. That's clever. Nice group chat. What's up? See my Kathy. Oh, hey Nicole, what's up? How'd you stay at the principal's dungeon? You know, nothing new. Except that, except the fact that I was with that troublesome girl. Troublesome? Yeah, because you started the trouble, airhead. She kind of gets under my skin, too. Hmm. So, what she's like? What she's like? Do you think she belongs with me? Not a chance. She attacks with sharp words. She attacks with sharp words, too. Keep out unless you want your dignity robbed. Oh no, not again! But since you already made the first move anyways, go ahead, I don't care now. As if you can even call it a move. Think about it, man. You crashed into her so bad. Do you have any, inkl any inkling of what that- any inkling of what that means? Newton's their law? <laughs> Object in motion stays in motion. No, you sham nerd! There was a love cupid at work locking your destiny into place. The moment you ran into her, boom, your heart's magically entwined. Wow, that's so cool. I know, right? My boy's finally gonna experience the joys of young love. Young love, my ass. She was still at me, at, mad at me the moment I left. Riddell's been missing. Where's Riddell? What? What do you mean you left? From where? We did, our, we did our art project at Little Missy's home. Oh. My. God. <laughs> she, could, she stopped typing for a second. Did you just get a girlfriend and climb the ladder all in one day? I don't know what you mean by climbing up the ladder, but nah. Like how we get along. Damn it. 
I was just about to have your congratulation congratulatory poster printed. Well, oh, guess I have to wait some more. What? It should have been a surprise, but uh, who cares? Huh? What in the world is this? <laughs> Congratulations, Mark, for embarking on a new journey in your progressant love life. That's crazy. What the? Why does it look like I died? Who the heck did this? Yours truly. You sure have a lot of time on your hands, huh? What's the fun in having lots of time if I can't spend it with Kate? Ugh, she could have been the one. Is it because... I'm a flat tire? What? How do you know... Does does Mark call her, her a flat tire too? I doubt it. It's not like you're born, right? Uh... What? Oh, oh no. He mistook... He doesn't know what flat tire means. He was calling her flat tire this whole time and he didn't even know. What? Oh, man. Did you really think that's what it means? Uh, yeah, it's like a blind person. Look at his face! <laughs> He's like, um, what? What is it? What is it? Are you kidding? Right? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it actually means... Shouldn't <laughs> Forget it! Gotta go sleep now. Uh, okay. Hey. Yeah? Uh-oh. I'm kinda surprised you started this com the combo this time. Rich saying that, lol. Well, anyway. Don't you dare forget about our trip, okay? What trip? Ah, the one I've been pushing you and Riddle for? Oh, right. The trip at the fair. <sighs> yeah, you airhead. Just so we can have some fun before, you know, before Riddle leaves for shooting. What happens if I don't go? I'm not asking for your confirmation. I'm coercing you, my lowly subordinate. Okay, okay, I'll go. Good boy. See you then. Good night. Oh, Louise. Oh boy, what you want? Hey, I'm so sorry for the ruckus back there. Ah, that's none of my concern. But I know you can do better. You deserve adequate sleep as well. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, Miss Flores asked me to inform you that you may submit your work on Monday. Yep, Miss Chavez told me that. Thanks. Also, Sophia told me she wants you to come over with me at the hospital. If you're free, of course. Are we visiting her grandma? Yes. I'm certain she most mostly wants new company. She must be getting sick of, sick of mine. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt that. Haha. -ha, but sure. It's so funny whenever whenever I see haha -ha in text like that, I think of the most like non-natural haha. -ha. Also, he does what I do. He he mimicked her fucking speech because before he just he would I'm sure he would just said like lol or something, but he mimicked her. That's a sigma. That's a sigma grind set thing. Actually, it's called mirroring, and you mirror the other person so that they seem more- they, they feel more comfortable with you. Um, he's- he's well-versed, I see. I'd be happy to come over. Alright then. She'd be glad to see you there, too. Hey, uh, Louise? Yes? Any f new findings on the, you know... I do. An 
actually, I was hoping we'd talk about it in pri private once we meet. Gotcha. I'll come over then. Okay then. See you. Hmm. Okay. It's a Friday night for crying out loud. Stupid phone games aren't cutting it. What should I do? Uh. Trash? Good idea. For those, for those tiny little workers take me over again. Can't take that trash out. Stay clean. I see. Nice. Yeah. Clean room. Wait, where am I? Also, do I have a water cooler in my house? I guess I do. Interesting. So many things to look at. Oh, that watermelon. Yeah, it's definitely our house. It's our. I get the watermelon. Uh. Uh, umbrella. Dad sent me this a year after they started working abroad. He joked that they'd finally come home once this, I finished this. 100 PCs. Oh, 100 pieces. It's like a, it's like a, a set for a plane. Well, I don't think he was kidding. Lobobo. Nasua. Hmm. LA La Electrism. Gotta head out and pay these for pay these and pay these pay for these tomorrow. Very exciting. What's this envelope doing here? <laughs> Kathy. Whoa, I remember now. Riddell got an instant camera as a birthday gift. We gave him our favorite little toy at the mall for a day. He didn't like it at first, but look where he's at now. That's sweet. Aww. Gold rush. <laughs> I love Kathy. She's my favorite. <laughs> oh my god. Until then, love Kathy. That's the name of the game. How did this thing even get here? Get here? How did it get here? Until then, Kathy. Wait, did Kathy bring it here? Huh. Wow, this is pop music 68. Kathy gave me this for my 13th birthday. Like, come on, Kath. You know I don't listen to normie music. Silly. Seriously, sleeping already on a Friday? Okay. Watch TV. Sure, why not? Let's watch a look at TV, just like everyone else in the internet with internet totally does. That's funny. Yeah, I never watch TV anymore. Unless it's smiling friends. It's almost midnight indeed. Coming up tomorrow on the two mistresses and possibly one more. As a cheap plot twist. No! M Maritis! He's mine! He's always been mine! How dare you! You only love him because he's walking money bag! You want war? I'll give you war! Welcome to your favorite late night show! Tonight's starring Boy Profusa. Profusia. As you may have heard, today is a very special day. Known as the rising star from CR Guru. Please welcome Paolo Kurepita Kurepot. Thank you so much for having me here, boy profi Proficio. We're so glad to have you here, Paolo. So tell me, Paolo. And you know this is what the audience wants to finally hear. What do your parents do for a living? We get lost. Oh, it's her it's her parents. I think. Hey. Come back here. What? Where'd he go? I don't know, sir. Damn it, we lost him. This is Alto Broadcasting, networking channel 7. Now signing off. I don't think I'll resort to a TV ever again.
Let's try something else. AV1. Let's see. What do we have here? There's a bunch of games on sale I impulsively bought, but never bothered to touch. Hmm. Folder, you go. Was that it? That's the whole game. <laughs> oh, this one looks cute. Is this Doki Doki Literature Club? This is literally Doki Doki Literature Club. Welcome to the club. It's nice meeting you. I love sucking lemons. <laughs> Seriously, you brought a boy. This is so funny. Natsuki. Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> Ah, uh, you must be. I love sucking lemons. What a nice surprise. Welcome to Kokoro Literature Club. There are no words. Wait, there are no words. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. This seems fun. I can take this. If I had to choose now, I'd probably do Aerie. That's everybody's choice. Everybody choose Yuri. I mean, Aerie. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That's it. I'm out of here. He's a scaredy cat. Mm. What is this? Heroes list. Korg? Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I just gotta win a couple matches and I'll level up again. That'll get me going for sure. Level up, level 46. Yeah! Hmm. Hmm. Seems empty, huh? Forget it. Are we talking to random strangers to war? <laughs> God, this is so real. And on chat. Um, hello. ASL. H sex location. What? H sex location. 15M redacted. <laughs> yep. What the? Hey. H sex location. 15. Man. What not? Oh, he almost. Valino. Valicia. Lol. Yeah, no. Nah. Why the hell am I getting rejected? Well, most people are looking for girls and also people of age. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 F. Valicia. Hey there. <laughs> hmm, just as I thought. Hey there, babe. <laughs> what you doing? Uh, bored alone at home. Oh, nothing. I'm just bored alone at home. I could use a little help. <laughs> this guy's a troll. <laughs> sure, baby. What can I help you with? Well, I'm a simple woman with simple desires. What is it, babe? Come closer. I'm coming closer. I'm whispering in your ear. Can you feel me beside you? Yeah, baby. <laughs> you want to know what I desire? Tell me, babe. Your card number. Your card number. Expiry, expiry date. And the three digits on the back. <laughs> Not today, man. Not today. Mm -mm. Oops. We're really just gonna keep on doing this? Hey there. Uh, aren't you gonna ask age sex location? 
It doesn't matter. It shouldn't. Why? Does it matter to you? No, no. It's my first time here, and it just seems like the norm. For the horny guys, yes, it's the norm. Figures. But I just want to genuine talk with a real person, you know? Sure, I'm up for that. Watch this be Nicole. Got nothing to do anyway. Awesome. Do you mind listening to my monologue? It won't be long. Well, probably. I just want to vet my feelings out here. No, not at all. Go ahead. I don't have much friends to talk to. And even if I do talk to them... I can't help but feel guilty draining them with my personal shit. God, that's so real. That sucks. It's comforting to know that some random, no random people can listen to my problems. Really, that's all you have to do. Listen. I'm all ears. You see... I've always been dreaming of accomplishing this one thing in my life. And a year ago, after preserving through it all, I did it. I finally did it. Sounds great. So I thought it was. So I thought that was it. I achieved my life goal. I thought I was going to be happy and complete. But after several months, I realized I was wrong. What happened? Call me crazy or whatever, but nothing happened. It was just time that kept pushing through. And I just woke up one day without any drive. Fuck, that hits too close to home. Go on. It's weird. I don't know why. They told me I should be setting higher goals. But I just can't do it now that, you know. Sorry, I kind of don't understand. It's okay. Maybe there's really no understanding to be sought in this in feelings lost. Maybe I just happen to float in this futile void. I don't know. You might be right. Maybe. So now I'm stuck nowhere. And I don't know where to go. Same. Have you ever felt like this? I might be yet. Yes, honestly, I don't know. If not, then good for you. Don't take it for granted. It's okay if you didn't understand me. I'm just glad you listened. Have you tried finding a hobby? I have. A long time ago. And then it became my job, well... No, I mean a new one. I tried things here and there, but... Something invisible keeps stopping me from enjoying anything. Have you tried therapy? Sounds like depression. I'm well versed in that, that art. I'm well versed in the art of depression, my friend. I cast demotivation. Oh, yeah. Ain't nobody. I wasn't even kidding. Man, that's so real, though. <laughs> when it comes to you, you suck. Life sucks. Your mental state is gone to shit, and yet... It takes so much to take that step to actually go to therapy. I'm still I'm still battling with that. ASL? Oh boy. 19F Uranus. <laughs> Menzero. You like the Smiths? Uh the Smiths what? <laughs> I guess that's a deal breaker. That's it. I give up. People are boring. Looks like I've tried everything. Nothing catch my attention today for some reason. Not even games, for God's sake. It's interesting because I feel like he's literally going through what that person was talking to, right? And talking to him about. He's just not realizing yet. Maybe it's in the first stages. Hmm. I, I have no idea. The cops are coming. Whatever. I should just sleep this off. Uh, well, I don't know if there's something you can sleep off, bro. I just want to stay asleep.
Right. I let this sheep music here. Bach. Bach. I don't know what that is. Greg. Collection of the classics. Frederick Chopin. I like Chopin. Chopin's good. I wish I could read these and edit in every detail like mom does. Actually, you know what? A little practice might get me going. Oh, please don't. Please don't make it so that he doesn't like piano anymore. I'll, I'll be so sad if he loses, loses motivation for piano. It's got to be the one thing. Still won't work? Negative. Have you tried turning it on and off? Does <laughs> yeah, that work? No. Oh, it was just muted. That's funny. <laughs> dumb dumb. Where'd you get that from anyway? I never knew you had a piano. Let alone interest in music. No. This is mom's. Oh, that's cool. Does she play? As a hobby, yeah. She used to. She'd always do classical when I was a kid. What happened? Why'd she stop? Uh, she got too busy. It, it just got too busy, I guess. Maybe that's why I want to give it a shot. Give it a shot? Do you even know how to play anything? No. But, maybe one day. Hmm, so he's self-taught. That's pretty good then, for what he was playing. Yeah, here. Like, that's amazing for self-taught. That's not how it goes. I was getting more... Try to remember, Mark. Please. It's beautiful. She's such a talented, lovely kid. Do you like it? I don't like it, Mom. I love it. I wish I could see her again. See who? Mark, is this a good time to talk? Anytime, any, anytime's a good time to talk. This won't be easy for me to say, but... You see... What'd she say? Almost that picture! Why is it all blurry? Why is this so important to him? I need answers! Minecraft! I wish I could listen to a song for the rest of- for the first time again. I wish I could watch a film for the first time again. I wish I could live a moment for the first time again. Damn, how long has he been living on his own? It's like I've 
felt everything there is to feel. Used to be studious. And slowly but surely. It's like there's nothing else to wait for. But maybe. She's so cute. And just maybe. I can feel alive again. Really good. Alright, I'll stop there. I'll stop there for now. Man, this game is good. Fuck what the sales be. I'm a total man. One day I'm a blow up big and I'm a be a king and my papa told me. It's okay to sit with shit hurts. Don't forget your dreams cause they'll get you through this. So call life to call living what I call it strange and I bet I'll do it. Cause I'm on my way and strong enough that I can shake your hands.